What is going on guys, Reflex here, and I promise this is the last video. The only reason I'm making these videos one by one for each topic is just so each video has that topic as the actual, like the topic of the video so everyone can have a discussion for that specific topic and not have so many side topics to talk about. But this topic is, you guys can have a discussion right now down below, but this frame that you guys see on your screen right now, which side are you on? Do you think it's Shion or do you think it's Aqua? But, I mean, we hits one of those two, and I'm on the Shion side. I think Shion got Norden. I really do. And, I mean, my reasoning behind this is why would they have Aqua, you know, get a Organization 13 coat? Like, yeah, maybe she's one of the 13, you know, I get that. But, I mean, it depends on where it's at in the story, and that's the kind of hard part to think about. But I'm also looking at how it is, you know, towards, like, the framing of the frame itself. You know like where she's at you see like the wall and the floor and everything i mean i might be digging a little too deep but if you think about it it kind of looks a little short and shion is a lot shorter than aqua so i mean um yeah, i think that's shion in my opinion i really do i believe it's shion i mean it's gonna kill me to say that because there is a lot of people that love shion and you guys know who you are but i think you babe might have gotten norted so i apologize for that but yeah, just let me know down in the comment section below what you guys think is the case. Like, do you guys think that it's Aqua or do you guys think it's Shion? But the next and final topic of today's video, just to cap off this wonderful conference that I just didn't even think was going to be as amazing as it was. But the gummy missions. I mean, look at everything. Look, just, I mean, I Nomura has talked about that there was going to be this free roam style just mechanic of gummy missions as well as just it was going to be a lot bigger than it was before and seeing the trailer i mean it looks like i mean there's a lot more customization it looks like there is uh, it's a lot bigger as you guys can see but it just looks so fun because i was one of the people that was always a fan of gummy missions i was always the ones that was a fan of them and kingdom hearts 2 i always loved playing them as a kid and they even held up to this day because i still like playing them kingdom hearts 1 was a little bit like uh like iffy kind of because a lot of people really didn't like the kingdom hearts one style of gummy missions but i was still okay with it like it was a cool neat way to you know form a transportation but it wasn't as cool as kingdom hearts 2 did it and it looks like kingdom hearts 3 is kind of in the same style as kingdom hearts 2 and they just kind of refined that even more and made it you know kind of expanded on it which is cool but let me know down in the comment section below what you guys think of the gummy you know just the gummy aspect of the game do you think it's cool or do you guys still just not care about gummies at all in the game because i know there's a lot of people that hate it i'm not one of them i'm actually thrilled that they brought it back in the game and i'm thrilled that it looks the way it does but there is so much to take in from all like like just from this one trailer and it's not even over it wasn't even the full trailer so that's the crazy part maybe we'll see exactly whether or not that was shion or aqua or maybe we'll see more gummy missions you know the little just see every little aspect of the gameplay and maybe we'll see one more world i mean jungle book is hanging on by a thread but i will say this for the people that want jungle book and i can still tell in my comment sections that a lot of people do want it this if it doesn't get shown at tokyo game show i think it's just time to hang up the towel for a jungle book and just you know i don't think it's going to happen and the ones that want treasure planet i think it's already the nail in the coffin i don't believe treasure planet is going to appear in kingdom hearts 3 just for the reason pirates of the caribbean is there so i mean it sucks for the people that wanted that world but i don't believe it's going to be in but yeah there was so much to take in from this trailer that I mean, there's even more to dissect. I mean, honestly, there were so many frames. Like, for instance, the chess the chess game that they're playing, it's inching towards the final battle, which is kind of interesting because as they show the Xehanort, you know, frame with uh, Keyblade Graveyard and all that, and you saw Mickey, Donald, and Sora standing before Xehanort, it also had that frame of the chess game. And I'm thinking that that kind of even teases it even more, that that may be the final battle. I don't know. I mean... I would expect more backup for Xehanort, but maybe he doesn't need it. I mean, who knows? But yeah, let me know all your thoughts down below. Have discussions. I will be having discussions with you guys, but I think I'm going to go ahead and, and head to bed after this. I've been up since literally, I think, like 9 o'clock, and then I'm staying up, and it's probably going to be about two hours after this video is uploaded that I'm finally asleep. But yeah, hopefully I didn't annoy you guys with a spam of uploads, but I wanted to get all the information out as possible and, you know, try to talk about as much as I could about what I seen and just expect more videos the 18th because obviously we're gonna get the full trailer 
as well as I think it's please someone tell me down below because right now I'm too frazzled to even look it up but when's Tokyo Game Show for Kingdom Hearts 3 just uh, let me know that down below so someone can jog into my memory because I always forget but yeah if you guys did enjoy this final upload of the day leave a like subscribe and you guys know the drill I will see you guys later yeah, as you guys could tell my voice just went out there that's how much I've been talking all day that's first time I ever freaked up my intro but yeah see you guys